Can you name the food? These are the answers. We have turnips, tea, onion, ice, ketchup, prune, and pickle. Listen to this poem. The Meal by Carla Kaskin Timothy Tompkins had turnips and tea. The turnips were tiny. He ate at least three. And then for dessert, he had onions and ice. He liked them so much that he ordered it twice. He had two cups of ketchup, a prune and a pickle. Delicious, said Timothy. Well, worth a nickel. He folded his napkin and hastened to add, It's one of the loveliest breakfast I've had. Now, let's open your anthology of poems for year 4, 5 and 6. Turn to page 20. Let's read the poem together. The Meal by Carla Kaskin Timothy Tompkins had turnips and tea. The turnips were tiny, he ate at least three. And then for dessert, he had onions and ice. He liked them so much that he ordered it twice. He had two cups of ketchup, a prune and a pickle. Delicious, said Timothy. Well, worth a nickel. He folded his napkin and hastened to add, It's one of the loveliest breakfast I've had. Let's read it one more time. The Meal by Carla Kaskin Timothy Tompkins had turnips and tea. The turnips were tiny, he ate at least three. And then for dessert, he had onions and ice. He liked them so much that he ordered it twice. He had two cups of ketchup, a prune and a pickle. Delicious, said Timothy. Well, worth a nickel. He folded his napkin and hastened to add, It's one of the loveliest breakfast I've had. Activity 1. Listen to the poem again and point to the picture of what Timothy had for his breakfast. The Meal by Carla Kaskin Timothy Tompkins had turnips and tea. The turnips were tiny, he ate at least three. And then for dessert, he had onions and ice. He liked them so much that he ordered it twice. He had two cups of ketchup, a prune and a pickle. Delicious, said Timothy. Well, worth a nickel. He folded his napkin and hastened to add, It's one of the loveliest breakfast I've had. Activity 2 Now, let's look at the rhyming words in this poem. What are rhyming words? Rhyming words are words with the same ending sounds. Look at the first stanza. What are the rhyming words? Yes, they are T and tree. Look at stanza 2. What are the rhyming words? Very good. They are ice and twice. Stanza 3. Can you name the rhyming words? Good job! The rhyming words are pickle and nickel. What are the rhyming words for the last stanza? Good job! The rhyming words are add and had. Please copy these rhyming words in your E1 book. Activity 3. What did Timothy have for breakfast? Stanza 1. Yes, he had three turnips and tea. Stanza 2. He had two thyme, 
of onions and eyes. Move on to stanza 3. He had two cups of ketchup, a prune and a pickle. Stanza 4? No, there's no food in stanza 4. So, Timothy had all this for his breakfast. Let's look at it one by one. We have turnips, tea, onion, ice, ketchup, prune and pickle. Copy the question and the answers in your E1 book. Activity 4 In this activity, you need to create and design your own menu for breakfast, lunch and dinner. To prepare you for this activity, you need to complete this tree map in your E1 book. Fill in the tree map with what you usually had for breakfast, lunch and dinner. For example, you had nasi lemak or sandwiches for breakfast. For lunch, maybe you had chicken curry, chicken soup or asam pedas fish. For dinner, maybe you had tom yam soup or grilled fish. It is all up to you. Now, it's time for you to design your menu. Be creative and imaginative. Here are some examples of menu. Maybe it can give you ideas and you can design your own menu creatively. Please use a piece of paper or drawing paper. You may use markers, colored pencils, highlighters, crayons, or any other art supplies to complete this menu. Remember, be as creative as possible. Good luck!